Could be in your yard. Yeah, Deuce Mason joins us live in Rockland. One company crawling in calls oh, to remove snakes. There. Yeah, Whoa. you know, I respect these guys a lot. Why? Because I feel like they're kind of nuts, all right? <laughs> rattlesnake, re rattlesnake Removal USA. My dear friend uh, Jim Ross would say, you don't mess with the Texas rattlesnake, Stone Cold Steve Austin, because you never know when he would strike. Well, it's the same thing with these wild animals, right? Hey, we got Lou and we got Rod here. Uh, go ahead and open this up. I'm standing back a little bit. All right, so the, he's these got are some rattlesnakes. Go ahead, Lou. Where'd you get these from? These are Northern Pacific Ugh. rattlesnakes. Yeah. And they were caught out here in the Northern California region. Okay. And they look really, really. Yeah, yeah. Significant as far as their unique pattern. Now let me ask you this: What what, what happens uh, when someone comes across one of these in your yard? What do you recommend? Them just call you, right? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I, I don't recommend handling this at, and these animals at all. Um, you need to call a, a professional, somebody that uh, works with these specifically. Normal pest control companies wouldn't, you know, handle a call like this. So you're gonna call. And you're getting a lot of calls right now because of these uh, warm temperatures, right? Oh yeah, this this heat has just, you know, really made everything grow. The particularly the rain that we had earlier made. The whole ecosystem just grow from the ground up. Uh, and what about your teammate Rod here? I mean, you guys are a good team here. It's hard to find someone that handles rattlesnakes. Yeah, Rod's a good guy. Why don't you go ahead and yeah, give a shout out, Rod? Yeah. Okay. So there's one coming right here that uh, I'm gonna back away from. <laughs> Jeez. Hey, watch By the out, way, Pages. If you like, take a look at me right now. I'm standing like 40 feet behind them. Why? I am not getting close to that. <laughs> uh, Rod, I, I man. This is a uh, pretty intense is over here. Inch um, and you'll be set. So hey, another thing you recommended is like if you have to, you gotta get like a strong hose or something, right, Lou? If you have to and you don't have somebody to come remove it, and and you got a tool to use, you pick the hose with some good pressure, okay. and blast it from a distance. Don't use the spade shovel because I've heard stories of people hitting large snakes with spade shovels and it bouncing right off oh, their back. Wow. Well, the cool thing about what you guys do too is you guys release these back out into the wild. It's not like We're you guys no are kill. killing them. You, Peach, you come. are going out to make sure that these are back out. Peach, come. What, what, so what, what's the what's the scariest thing about this? Be honest. Peach, come. Uh, it's scary that they are rattlesnakes. You just got to respect them. I mean, they can kill you. Yeah. And they have no problem doing it. Well, if you ever have one of these in your yard, I hear them rattling now. Oh, wow, unbelievable. Dog. You need to give these guys a call because they're pros and they need to handle them. Now, this dog is smart enough. Like, apparently, this dog goes out with them all the time, so we're good. Yeah, this anyway, is, this is call Peach. these guys if you need help. Yeah, with Peaches, the snake sniffing dog. Does a great job yeah. Picking up my slack, so. These guys are brave and they're pros, so give them a call if you have any okay. issues, guys. Back over to you. Deuce, you better count those rattlesnakes in that box and make sure they got all of them. That was stressing me 